hello dear student very good afternoon so today our topic is various institutes working on beneficial insect in this topic we learn the different institute that established in our, our india and uh, mostly that working on those are the natural enemies those are the economical beneficial insect that where that uh, some training some research and to uh, different types of information provide to us even research scholars scientists that to uh, presently that uh, working and to work mostly on the beneficial insect so let's say in detail about this uh, topic about this uh, institute so the first uh, institute is the uh, commonwealth institute of biological control this this is a indian that uh, institute was uh, established in 1957 in india and which is uh, headquarter is uh, bangalore and the work on mostly that uh, systematic biological control research in india that uh, work in different biological control agent and to provide knowledge of natural enemies of different uh, crop pest and weeds that was uh, tremendously increased and to minimizing that uh, purpose that to give the knowledge to the various uh, uh, like universities some like uh, technology transfer institute and one student like that this uh, institute working so which is very important it's a uh, abbreviation that uh, was uh, uh, that is a uh, commonwealth institute of biological control so establishment year in 1957 okay so the now now the next one this uh, all india that uh, coordinated research project and mostly that work in only the biological control of uh, different crop pest and weeds which was launched in uh, 1977 and this project that work under the indian council of agriculture research institute and which was shifted to the same campus in the 1988 the center was uh, uh, named as a biological control center and this all entire program there that uh, working and that functionary that mostly work on that under the different administrative and some by financial control of that uh, this project is uh, under the national center for integrated pest management this is the main authority or main nodal agency that uh, this project that working so this uh, project is mostly that uh, work on that uh, various that aspects that mostly in those are uh, research uh, related to integrated pest management and this uh, project that work very well and to give advanced knowledge to the farmers and to provide different technology uh, related the biological control okay so that uh, very much important this one now the next one this uh, institute is very major institute and the name of this institute is a uh, national center for integrated uh, pest management and this institute that uh, established in the new delhi and which was established in the year 1988 and this uh, institute only work in the transferring technology and to achieve the major goals in crop pest management and to utilize all different techniques and methods which are comes under in integrated pest management and this institute that promoting the environmentally safe technology and which was which is a very much important to sound ipm technologies and this centers that very important and effectively cooperation with the all organization like uh, uh, working in india like kvk like a uh, uh, different uh, institute colleges for the implementation of the ipm program or ipm practices 
through this uh, center and which is very much important to minimizing the pasture uh, level by utilizing the integrated pest management techniques that way it is the very important nodal agency that uh, uh, working in in the indian council of agriculture research institute which was uh, which is established in new delhi okay now the uh, in the eight uh, five year plan and the project was uh, elevated to an independent project that called as a project directorate of biological control this agency or this institute with uh, its uh, headquarters is uh, bangalore that is called pdbc during the 1993 and which was the nodal agency in the country in india and that organizes the different uh, biological control research and having more number of different uh, biological agent where that uh, uh, present and to give the best information to the all institute all organizers all organize organization where to work in the biological control and which is the nodal agency at the national level with having more than 16 centers that were spread across the india okay and this uh, directorate of biological control which is a uh, headquarter is uh, bangalore and carried out basic research on the uh, biosystematic of important groups of insect but mostly on this uh, related with the natural enemies called as biogers and this collection and this maintain maintained all population of the different natural enemies where that uh, uh, in biological control uh, of india um, of bangalore were present okay now on the basis of this same institute according to the uh, 11th uh, uh, that five year plan the pdbc was upgraded and this uh, name was uh, changed and the name is the national bureau of agricultural important insect the same location that headquarter is a bangalore only the rename the same institute again it's a rename and to give the name of national bureau of agriculture important insect pest so it is it is a nodal agency where that collection even characterization of different natural enemies it's a different documentation where occur and conservation point of view where work and exchange and utilization of agricultural important insect resources which is like uh, including mites and spiders for the different sustainable agriculture point of view this institute work okay this is very important institute after that <coughs> the uh, kevik that called as uh, khadi and village industries commission which uh, located in mumbai and with the inspiration of uh, our uh, rashtrapita mahatma gandhi that uh, took the task of the development of the bee keeping mostly on bee keeping industries with a view of to uplift the financial status of india even also the indian people that living in extremely interior that are in mostly in rural area by introducing and popularizing the different uh, modern beekeeping uh, practices purpose this uh, khadi and village industries commission started and to uh, gives the information awareness and to best revolution in case of in the field of apiculture and started the modern beekeeping and it was a uh, launch in and uh, started in the established 1957 in the central bee research and training institute that located at pune uh, on the 1st november 1962 where work that mostly in bee keeping okay this kevik established a separate department that namely in the directorate of bee keeping in mumbai and central bee research and training institute at pune and started the modern bee keeping and scientific way in the people throughout the country and to get the extra knowledge about apiculture to 
conservation and to get maximum produce maximum income income to the uh, people that purpose this kevik was established okay so this is very very major institute that working only in the honey bees like a bee keeping okay now on the basis of this national bee board was established and reconstituted in the year 2006 which was in uh, new delhi and known as nbb that is national bee board the main objective of this institute that uh, to national bee board is overall development of bee keeping and to promote the scientific bee keeping in india why to increase the production of this crops through the pollination and decide that to increase the honey production for the increasing the income of these uh, uh, bee keepers or the farmers that is the major objective was this uh, nbb and which is uh, very um, very much important this uh, national bee board for the purpose of that uh, bee keepers and the farmers okay now about like uh, we discuss on now these uh, sericulture for the sericulture this uh, central sericulture research and training institute that uh, known as csrti which was in mysore and this research institute that uh, work in the tropical sericulture and which was established at uh, chinnapatna that uh, in uh, 1961 and after that this course this development institute was shifted in the mysore in the year 1963 that's why the research station and the training institute is in uh, mysore but before previous uh, that was a uh, chinna patna that in the 1961 but don't confuse in this uh, two so always remember this mysore is a headquarter and which was in the 1963 that work in this sir uh, that sericulture on the uh, other hand this another one institute known as ilri that is a uh, indian lac research institute was laid at uh, ranchi Uh, which was established in the year September 20, 1925, and this uh, institute uh, that work in that uh, mostly uh, that uh, lac, and this subsequently in this Indian lac uh, uh, CIS committee was established that constituted and which took over the uh, regions of uh, like uh, ILRI on this first uh, uh, August 1931. this uh, uh, indian council of agriculture research institute took over this all that administrative control uh, through this ilri from this april 1st and this is one of the oldest institute within in uh, icr the institute mandate is to uh, look after the important uh, issue related to the natural uh, resins and gums of indian origin and according to ilri this indian lac research institute has been renamed and given the name of this indian institute of resins and gums now its name is a i i n r g and this uh, institute that uh, known by this name since september 2007 7 and which is uh, known as this ilr but now its uh, name is indian institute of natural resins and gums which work in the lac insect to promote and to produce the maximum yield or maximum production of a lac which uh, that working in uh, ranchi that uh, to get the farmers and lac culture point of view this institute work okay so this is or all this all major institute that very much uh, important for our syllabus and for this uh, six semester uh for syllabus of management management of benefic beneficial insect purpose this all institute are important for its abbreviation its uh, headquarters its year and what is the mandate of this all institute and its objective purpose is very very important so student so this overall this our today's topic and in the next lecture we'll start our this this apiculture okay so thank you